So this vineyard, uh, which looks relatively modern, uh, is planted is uh, just over 13 years old, planted next to one of our oldest uh, bush vine plots, planted in 1934 uh, of beautiful Grenaches, red Grenache this time. Um, here everything is handled by hand, 100% um, is hand harvested. We harvest only in the morning to get the coolness of the night in the juice uh, and not only hand harvested but in small boxes not more than 8 kilos to prevent uh, early oxidation and crushing of the fruit. So it will take about 3 days to harvest uh, the equivalent of about 500 cases, that's 6,000 bottles um, that we produce today. Uh, on the white Dantel Blanc. Here on the more rocky side we have chosen to plant the more drought resistant vines. They are the one uh, you know originating native from the Rhone Valley such as the Grenache Blanc for example which should make beautiful juicy berries, lots of flavors uh, and grow very well despite the very drought conditions and if I take you up a little bit on this uh, area you will find probably the most gorgeous of all the vines that we grow uh, the pink claret which is absolutely beautiful um, big berries that will bring heaps of acidity but also a lot of elegance a lot of flavor I hope you can see uh, the magnificence of these berries uh, in the video it's a beautiful pink when the sunlight goes through it in the morning it's absolutely gorgeous um, to harvest so as we walk through the vineyard you should be able to see um, the different shape and sizes of berries you have uh, 13 different grape varietals all planted on the same plot uh, a bit of a wacky crazy project uh, which is paying up today um, the idea behind this is to get you know, some grapes like here, Muscat is a very small, very, very ripe, see kind of orangey golden. Uh, it will create a grape, very concentrated juice, lots of sugar, um, so potentially high alcohol, not super interesting for a style of wine, but extremely aromatic. So this varietal we use for uh, the aromatic, the fruitiness, uh, and then here we have uh, Roussanne, which is a very different grape, and as we can see, if we put the grape in the sun, uh, much bigger, much juicier, and full of acidity. So these grapes uh, are going to bring the drinkability in our wine. Uh, and the crazy project is usually you will find uh, all the grapes that you need to blend on different plots, where here everything comes together, and we will therefore aim for. Um, medium maturity, average maturity, around 12.5% alcohol only uh, and because different grapes ripen at different time this will allow us to make a, a balance and light wine that therefore uh, tastes very fruity. <laughs> Adi. Adi. Adi.